In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reveal a call to action element after a video reaches a certain point. So there's three common scenarios where you would want to implement this. Number one, maybe you're running an evergreen webinar and you want only the call to action button to be revealed after you've dropped the offer. So the call to action button would in this case be buy now, learn more or book call after you drop the offer and you've already established the value prior in the video. This may help you with conversion because it eliminates the people to go and check out the offer before you've established the value. Scenario number two, it's for lead generation purposes. Let's say you're giving out a lead magnet as a video and people start watching that video. And at a certain point, you can make a form show up for them to leave their name and email address or maybe phone number, whatever data you want to collect in order to finish watching that video. So let me show you how to do that. So first you want to go to sites and funnels or maybe websites, depending on where your video is hosted. You find your funnel step on the left and hit edit. Now this is a webinar, for example, you can see this video is actually a hosted video within the platform. And here on the right under video type, you can upload that hosted video. Once that's done, you scroll down and you want to turn on generate leads from video. So this feature here is the second scenario I just mentioned when you want to collect leads from people watching your videos. And here you would determine after what time frame the form pops up in order to collect that data. So let's say 20 seconds. Then you have to select the form. Let's say this one, for example. And here you can also decide whether or not you would allow them to continue watching the video without leaving their details. Let's actually change this to three seconds. Let's hit publish and let's show you how that works. Let's click preview, wait three seconds, ta-da, and here the form pops up, amazing. Now, in order to continue watching that video, I will have to fill out my details. Now, the second scenario, if you want to drop a call to action button, for example, to encourage people to purchase the offer once you've dropped the offer within your webinar, then all you want to do is actually add an element, which is called timer. Let's choose the minute timer right here, drop it here. And by default, it's set to 45 minutes. Let's just do three seconds for demonstration purposes right now, then scroll down. Also, please make sure under expire actions, you have selected show and hide element and not redirect URL. So here under revisit action, select hide timer and show element. So the timer then disappears and the button will show up. Okay. So select the element. Here are all the elements within the page, right? So scroll down until you see that button. It's also highlighted in orange to make sure it's the correct button. Select that button. Hit publish and let's preview. So now it's auto playing. The video is auto playing. You don't see the button right now. You see the timer three, two, one, and boom, the click to sign up button appears right here. I hope you see the value in this new feature and I will see you in the next video.